Okay, normally I would never start a video this way, but this is a different kind of video. I made a bet with KBD2996 and Knowles Blogger, and I'm going to honor that bet. So I am now going to make my entrance, more like my walk of shame. Dum, dum, da, dum, dum, da, dum, da, dum. Florida State fans, laugh it up, enjoy it. Now first off, KBD, Knowles Blogger, the shirt that I promised I would wear, the one that says, I love Florida State on it, or FSU for short, but I'm sure you guys don't mind. The second part, yep, I honored it. I am dressed like an Indian. Now I know the costume is not perfect, like the actual Seminole, but I'm sure this will suffice. I mean, hey, pretty good for what I had to work with, which wasn't much. Just a little face paint and, uh, you know, some feathers that I had to print out. <laughs> but I'm sure most of you watching this video right now are pretty much rolling on the floor laughing right now, probably crying a little bit from laughing so hard. But I hope all of you will take the time to at least take me somewhat seriously, no matter how ridiculous I look right now. Um, you know, hey, this, this sucks for me right now, I'm not going to lie, but I am a man of my word, and I am honoring this bet like I said I would. So, KBD, Knowles Blogger, and any other Florida State fan out there, Hate my team all you want, but I hope you at least sh I hope you at least show me a little bit of respect personally for being a man of my word. But at the same time, I never said I was going to be a happy Indian. As a matter of fact, I'm more like the Indian from that public service announcement about littering. You know, the one where the Indians walk along the side of the road and the guys throw the garbage at his feet and he has a tear running down his eye. Yeah, that's the kind of Indian I am right now. But. Hope, like I said, hopefully you'll, you guys watching this video are able to take me a little bit seriously. So let's get to it. My recap of the 2011 Champ Sports Bowl. Well, first off, to be a good sport like I always am, congratulations, Seminoles. You guys played a good game. You know, you, you, you guys simply made more plays than we did. And you know, your, your defense lived up to all the hype and all the expectations behind it. They, they played their numbers, put it that way. They played their rankings, and it was a tough defense to play against. So my hat's off to you guys. Now overall, this was a really hard-fought game by both teams. A very low-scoring affair. I mean, I, I actually thought it was going to be a little more high-scoring than what it was. Um, but really, it, it was like I predicted. It, it was a pretty much a defensive struggle all game. Neither offenses could really get anything going until Florida State got hot at the right time in the second half. Now, as far as the Irish are concerned, you know, this game was just the icing on the cake of how our season is gone. I mean, same crap another day. This game in particular, everyone is to blame. Everyone, players and coaches alike. I mean, tonight we've seen, or tonight we saw pretty much everything that we've been see, we've been seeing all season long. Uh, turnovers, the big one. Um, miscues, uh, bad mistakes, uh, bad coaching, bad play calling. All in one game. I mean, seriously, guys, the turnover bug has plagued us all season long. When do you pull your heads out of your butts? and realize that you have to protect the football to win football games. I mean, seriously, this is stuff that we learned back in Pee Wee and or youth, depending on where you grew up at. But it's football 101 is to protect the ball and not turn it over. I mean, seriously, this crap is getting old. And if we continue to play like this next season, I can see 2007 happening all over again with the brutal schedule we have next year. I mean... The only bright spot in this game tonight was our defense, okay? Our defense played well in that first half. That first half was great. I mean, Florida State had no answer for our defense whatsoever. But another, this, this has just been an ongoing trend all season long. Every single one of our losses this season, all five of them, we have given away. And 
and I'm sorry, I am not trying to disrespect Florida State, but our, the mistakes we made, we pretty much gave this game to you on a silver platter. Okay? You know, Tom Reese had the very bad interception. And speaking of Tom Reese, let me ask Brian Kelly, let me ask you this question. How many mistakes does Tommy Reese have to make before you finally figure out that he is not the right quarterback for this system? I mean, seriously. Tommy, when there are three defenders in front of Michael Floyd, you throw the ball out of the end zone. You don't try to make something happen. Okay? I guarantee you Joe Montana, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, whoever, they could not make anything happen in that situation. And I like the announcers on that play, too. They're talking about... Well, you know, uh, they were playing zone coverage and Tommy didn't, uh, didn't pick it up. Those defenders didn't even move. <laughs> and he throws it right to them. And I'll tell you one thing. If, if, if Tommy Reese is our starting quarterback next year, I hate to say this, but I think we are screwed. So, but at the same time, you know, not just to get on Tommy's case, uh, Andrew Hendricks, aside from a couple of nice runs that he had, he had a pretty poor performance himself. I mean, that interception that he threw, oh my God, that was bad. That was just, you know, Andrew, on that pass, you might as well have just walked up to the linebacker, been like, hey, buddy, here you go. Here's the ball. Have a good weekend. Threw it right to him. Right to him. I don't know who he was trying to throw to, but there was nobody there. Just a, just a Florida State defender. <laughs> But, I don't really know what else to say, guys. Oh, I, do, I did think of this. Defensively, Bob Diaco, this question is to you. The blitzing schemes you had going on in that first half were great. I mean, our defense was stellar. The, the blitzing was working. And as a, my buddy on here, Notre Dame Catholic 90, said, there's your shout-out, man. As he said, and we, me and him were discussing this earlier, Diaco, why stop with the blitzing in the second half when it was working? Florida State had no answer. What makes you think they were going to have an answer for it in the second half? So you, you, go, you go to zone coverage because they make one play that went for, I don't know, 15, 16 yards? Okay? Well, last time I checked, yards do not necessarily mean points. Okay? So that, this, is, this is play calling that I don't understand. You go with what is working. Now, I, I'm, out, I'm at a loss for words, you know. In all my seasons of watching Notre Dame football, you know, I've been through some bad ones, okay. I had, let's see, there was a, a five-win season in 99, another five-win season in 01, a uh, five-win season in 03, a uh, dreadful 2007 season where we went three and nine. At least in all those seasons... We actually got dominated by teams. We got beat pretty convincingly. This season has been quite the opposite. As I said earlier, five losses. Five losses in which we had every opportunity in the book to win the game. I mean, maybe that Stanford game could be questionable, okay? Because we, you know, we had some opportunities, but I don't, you know, I don't know if anything... There's no guarantee we would have came back and won that one. But all the other ones, including tonight, we had a chance. We controlled our fate in every, or we controlled our destiny in every single one of those games, and we had them won. We had them won, but we kill ourselves with turnovers. So, really, to be honest with you guys, I would rather get blown out forty to nothing and be like, okay, we suck. We straight up suck. I would rather have that happen than watch us give the game away in heartbreaking fashion like we've done five times a season. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. And as I said in one of my earlier previews, or recaps, I'm sorry, I've never seen two games be decided on fumble returns, 90 yards for a touchdown. I mean, so many, you know, what-the-hell kind of moments that we've had this year. I mean, I, I cannot tell you how many times I've been left scratching my head, you know, a play call or a you know, a coaching decision or a turnover. You know, I've pretty much seen just about everything with Notre Dame football this season. You know, the 3-9 and nine season back in 07 really sucked, but I think this season sucked more than that one did. Because at least in, you know, 
2007, we knew we weren't going to go to any kind of postseason game. But this season, we have every opportunity in the book to get to a BCS game, possibly a national championship, and we just we just throw it away. I mean, I've never seen a team, or I've never seen a Notre Dame team like that. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I really do not know what to say about this. I, I'll tell you one thing. We are very lucky that we're still able to get the kind of recruits that we do. I mean, really, I'm serious. We are very lucky to have these, these kind of recruits that we're getting. Because we are so unorganized right now. Well, maybe not unorganized, but, you know, put it this way. Top-tier recruits want to go to programs that play for BCS uh, bowl games and national championships, okay? They don't come here to play for the Sun Bowl or the Hawaii Bowl or the Champ Sports Bowl. They want to go to the big stage. And, how, you know, what are some of these recruits going to think when, you know, we give game, they see us turning the ball over, giving games away to our opponents on the silver platter, and, you know, blowing, you know, non-BCS bowl games? Why would they want to come to us? I mean, especially when we don't seem to get have our crap together. So, basically, I'm, I'm calling this season the season of missed opportunities and wasted talent. Because we have the talent on this team. And even all you Notre Dame haters out there, I think you can somewhat agree with me on that. The talent is there, but, you know, obviously, aside from the, the little quarterback controversy not being set there, the talent was on this team to get it done. And we pretty much gave it away. All season, what we gave the season away on a silver platter. So, in closing for this video, Fighting Irish, get your crap together. Okay? Because I think I can speak for all Notre Dame fans when I say, I am sick of this crap, and it needs to change. You guys are better than that, so start playing up to your, to your ability. You know, prove to everyone that uh, whatever ranking we get, if we get one to start next season, prove to everyone that it's not a fluke. Prove to, prove to everyone that you guys can play the game, that you are a BCS slash national championship type team. Because last two seasons, I haven't seen it. And anyone who, have, anyone who tells me, oh, we've gotten better, we've gotten better. Okay, let's see. Last year, we finished the season, including the bowl game, we finished 8-5. and five. Guess what? We're 8-5 and five again this year. So where's the improvement? Where is the improvement? Let's start seeing it. So Irish, get your crap together. I'm out.